everybody, what's up? Welcome to Sample Sound. My name is Guido. I'm over from Cat and Beats, and I have mixing tips for you. Yay! I can already hear you screaming out of joy. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about side chaining and a type of side chaining that nobody on YouTube has shown yet. So that's pretty cool, right? You're going to learn something completely new. Make sure that if you're into these types of tips, to subscribe to Sample Sound, of course. Also go over to Cat and Beats on my YouTube channel there. Subscribe there too. You might see some more tips. All right, so a uh, little shameless plug there. Now, in Ableton, there's this handy little area over here called uh, Max for Life, but we also have another one called Audio Effects. Now, in Audio Effects, you have modulators and you have this one thing called Envelope Follower. And what you can do with that is you can take an envelope follower and you can put it on any channel you want and map this to any other channel you want. So what does that entitle? Well, check this out. I have put this together really fast. Uh, let's have a little listen. And this is from the sample sound library or, or one of the here called Obeat records. Check it out. <laughs> Especially if you compare it to the non-mixed version. Ooh, nice and juicy, right? So I did a little bit of a mixing thing for that. And let me show you the main mixing secret ingredient for that. So I've put an envelope follower on the kick drum. Let's actually solo some things out, okay? So I've put an envelope follower on the kick drum. So that's over here, yeah? And then what you can do is you can click the map button. So then you map the kick over on the sub. And then every single time the kick hits, only a specific frequency gets ducked. Because what I want with this track is a nice thick low end. Now what you normally find in any genre really, is that somebody will take a compressor and I'm just gonna show you the difference in sound. It takes the compressor and puts it on the whole bass group as a total, right? Turns off the kick duck thing. And we have this over here. We're gonna press side chain, go over to the kick drum and then, you know, do heavy side chaining, like, you know, like whatever, like this, and then take the threshold down. <laughs> But then sometimes the kick just, dis I mean, the low end just disappears and it's like, the uh, what the fuck is this? This might be cool for like, you know, housey stuff where you need the four to the floor type of feeling, but, or like super hard, like lo-fi hip hop stuff. But for this, I really want my low end to be thick and play on through. So let me just show you how to set that up and also give you a little concept behind everything. So I'm just gonna delete this and I'm going to uh, delete, uh, actually I'll keep that there for now. So first and foremost, you find out what the fundamental frequency is of the kick. You can just do that via looking here. You can open it up like that, boop, boop, look in there. Finding and looking there like, okay, fundamental frequency is around 42 Hertz-ish, yeah? Okay, great, good job. Then you take an envelope follower. You can just write envelope follower or go via the route I just showed you. So we're gonna go envelope follower, put it on there. Great. Then we're gonna change this to 50 and this to zero. That's the first one. Then we're gonna click on map, leave the map on, go to the sub frequency, which is already set here, and go to the gain knob. Oh, I... <laughs> I've mapped this already to another one. Okay, let's just set this one then. Uh, we're gonna set this to 42 Hertz and then we're gonna map the gain knob. All right, and now it doesn't work. Fantastic. Oh, cause I mapped it to gain number two. Okay, hold on, <laughs> fucking bitch. That's it. Now, if you find yourself thinking, hey, wait a minute, that, you know, 7 dB of gain reduction is a little bit too much. Then what you can do is go over to the kick knob and just take the gain down. 
that's no side chaining and set it to where you vibrate. Now you can also adjust the rise and fall, so how fast the track gets adjusted. And it's really nice to then make it really natural sounding if you want to go that route. So give that a shot. And on top of all this, you can also map way more things to the same kick drum. For instance, if you have more than one bass thing going on, like a percussion, you can also map that. And you can map you know, anything you want. Now, also, this is the main take, a take away message here. You know how you have like ne Nectar Pro right now or Nectar 3, and uh, there it has an unmasking situation. If I, for instance, have a vocal playing, what I can do is take my entire frequency. So let's just pretend we have some vocals. We can take my entire frequency. So the vocals are playing here in the mid, right? You go to mid side mode and you just say to your melodics that you move the melodics out of the way, so the leads out of the way, when your vocals are playing in the middle, because most likely your vocals are going to be playing in the middle. And this is then an incredibly intelligent um, adjustment to have an extremely clear mix with a envelope follower. All right. So that's the video and that's the concept. You can use it for any frequencies that are going to be over each other, for any genre you want, and uh, put it into any track that you want to get a really nice clear track now again my name was guido i'm over from cat and beats helping the guys out from sample sound make sure to subscribe to this channel give it a like as well if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section below i'll actually be hanging out with you too and if you want come over to my channel too give it a subscribe and a like and it's much appreciated all right take care peace out and have a great day